So oh. Shan says, hello, all quick question on power automate flow uh, at get items from SharePoint. It's throwing an error. Uh, index was outside the bounds of the array gateway timeout. What does this mean? Any help would be appreciated. I, I, you know, I read that question. I just think of like um, uh, robot voice, you know, index outside the bounds of array gateway timeout. You know, danger, danger. <laughs> Syntax error. Maybe that's just Plus me. Plus prey on yeah. tape. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, so what does that mean when you get an index error in Power Automate on, an, on a SharePoint get items? It means there's an error. Oh, and all right. Probably the Thank you for out. coming to watch this video. <laughs> uh. um, I would, I would probably delete that action restart Power Automate and try it again. Um, it's also possible that you're working on a SharePoint list that has an error in and of itself. Um, I really would have to look at the Power Automate. Is this the, is this a get item that has triggered from a, when a new item is created, or is this coming from a, a Microsoft Forms? Or, what's the trigger, what's happening around it, uh, it's very likely that um, that we're passing some sort of data back and forth that's not happy. Could this be the list threshold limit at 5,000? Is that a possibility? I'm just throwing ideas well, that out could there. Be. Yeah, because there's too many things, returning too many things in the list. And it's like, it takes too much time. I can't handle the truth. Um, yeah, possible. <laughs> yep, try a, a filter query. Yeah, so maybe that would be looking the, at totally the role of the items from the list instead of mm -hmm. narrowing right. it down to a specific view or a specific query, maybe. Right, and if I it's a get items no. plural, it's getting too many, it might be getting too many items. And trying a filter query so that you only get you know, even if you say get all items where the ID equals one, you should only get one item and see if that still gives you the, the error or not. That'd be a good test. I also have learned the new trick of putting a stop in and so at different points, because I usually build my power automates and then, you know, you run them and like it errors, you're like, where did it die? And it's like, where is it breaking? And you can put a stop and say, did it work to this point? And then you move the stop. And you're like, yep, it worked to that point, and you put another stop, and then another stop, and I think that's a, um, for me, that's been helpful. It's how I used to do that in the old SharePoint designer, designer. workflow days. Absolutely. <laughs> Yay! So, yeah, poor, yeah, poor designer. Yeah, those terminate functions, terminate actions are amazing for that. Yeah. Uh, but it looks you know, like I'm from the a, question I'm that it's power specifically automate. get items. Yeah, I'm not a power or you know automate special but a lot of times I, when I see that sort of stuff in other things outside of it um it's because you're looking at completely the wrong data <clears throat> like do you, are you pointing to the right place you know, when you look at excel and other errors or, you know, or macros or things that I'm building if it gives me errors that are similar it's because it's not even pointing in the right place <clears throat> yeah that's a good point too cool so it depends I I, I just like the the fact that Jonathan started the whole thing by saying, "Have you tried turning it off and on again?" Absolutely. So. We always start there. It's okay, Jonathan. It's amazing how many errors I fix in Power Automate by exiting and going back in. Yeah, yeah. it's some's cached in the browser because it all works in the browser. Exactly. Um, something could be cached in the browser, holding it up, and it may not even be the process. It could be how you're accessing Power Automate. Or maybe they have bad internet, bad Wi-Fi, and the signal's dying halfway through the thing that it's doing, and it's just giving up. Every yeah, time the signal time out, dies right? at the exact same spot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> That's where the stop thing helps, right? Where did it die? How far did it make it? Yeah, the fact that he specifically says at get items from SharePoint, it's throwing the error, tells me that it's getting to that action every time. So yeah, I would start with a a filter query, try to get one item and see if that works. And if it doesn't work, then it's probably not the action itself that's the problem. It's a data. It's a, it's a data issue of some sort. 
or uh, you might have a, a weird um, variable or you know the dynamic content that you're requesting in it somewhere. Well, and this to me comes to a bigger question because SharePoint is fabulous, the lists are fabulous, but they do have limitations. And, and maybe this isn't the right tool. Maybe this should be built in the Dataverse where you have more robust data management features than what SharePoint lists offer. That you know, would require you know, requirements and architecture and thinking through this and planning and design, Sherry. Now, let's not get crazy. <laughs> Thank you.